in edit mode, click and hold on extrude region, select extrude, dissolve and intersect and move your selection. Today I want to show you how to use a new subcategory of the extrude tool in Blender 2.9 Alpha by date 12th June 2020, Dissolve and Intersect. This tool is still in production and not released in a previous version of Blender 2.9. You find this tool in edit mode and search in the toolbar for extrude region function. Click and hold this icon till the side menu pops up. There you will find a new function extrude, dissolve and intersect. In my opinion this function works best in face selection mode and rectangular reconnected faces. Just grab the yellow dot controller and pull your selection faces inside of your mesh. You see that Blender automatically dissolves the faces of the top side which would overlap. In Blender 2.8.3 or previous version this is not possible and would look like this. As well if you use the usual extrude function in this version. Care about where you place your faces because you will create new vertices there if you do this a couple of times. Care if you push them too far into the object and cross other mesh geometry. The tool dissolve only flanking faces and don't consider all faces of the mesh. It is very useful if you activate the snap function and snap to vertex. Now it is very easy to pull your faces to a specific position of your geometry. If you dissolve edges before you run this extrude function, you will not have the problem which was mentioned before with the overlapping geometry. When you step your selected faces to a position where your mesh ends, then those faces in the back will not be dissolved. But you are able to just delete them and then it is fine as well. By expanding your tool setting window here, you got more options to control your extrude. For example to enable or disable flip normals, dissolve orthogonal edges or proportional editing. This tool is really interesting for any kind of platform design, room design, any kind of doors or windows. Only thing is that you probably have to tidy up your mesh geometry afterwards. That's all so far. I'm looking forward to this tool when Blender 2.9 will be published. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!